Hey, this is Robert with Clean Pool and Spa. And this video concerns itself with what happens if your salt level in your salt pool is too high. Okay, now we need to define what low and high is, or low and high are. The um, most chlorine generators have a pretty forgiving range, salinity range, and they were from about 2,500 to 4,500 parts per million. All right, but for simplicity purposes, I'm just going to say three to four thousand because that's the range that that I found most of them are. Now, why is your salinity too high? Well, probably, obviously, because you put in too much salt. Now, this is what you need right here. This is what you need to know about the salt level. Okay, um, this is you need seven to ten fifty-pound bags to reach the three to 4,000 parts per million mark uh, per 20,000 gallons. My suggestion is that you start with a seven test and then work your way up because it's just like making soup or something like that. You know, you make the soup, you taste it, you add a little bit, you stir it up, you taste it, you add a little bit, you stir it. You taste it and then you just keep doing that. You taste and taste throughout the process. And it's the same way with adding pool salt. Okay, you don't want to add everything all at once and call it good. You want to start low, test, and then work your way up. Test, work it up, test, work it up in that manner. That's the most effective and efficient way. Um, problems with high salt, obviously it's going to be more corrosive and your chlorine generator may burn up so you really want to keep an eye on that you know that's a that's a huge investment they run anywhere normally from like five hundred to fifteen hundred dollars um, normally you may have a higher end model that costs a little bit more um, when your salt is that high do not run the cell uh, okay that's very very important do don't run the cell or again it may burn up you can manually dose your your pool with chlorine until you can get that salt level down. Now, what's the most easiest and effective way to lower your salt? You may not want to hear this, but you're going to have to do a partial drain and refill. There's really no chemical per se that you can put in the pool that will mag magically lower the salt level. You're going to have to do a drain and refill and then wait for one full turnover of filtration, normally around 10 to 12 hours, and then retest and make a, another adjustment if you need it. Now, my personal feeling on this, uh, I was a pool operator for the YMCA in Oregon, and uh, it was an 80,000 gallon salt pool. And I had what, what was called an, uh, um, uh, a Myron analog meter and I would manually test the water twice a day, morning and night, and the guards, the lifeguards, were also required to do this as well. And so I had the system reading, and I had the Myron analog reading, the manual reading, and on occasion I would take it to the local pool store to have it analyzed as well. So I would have three readings. I'd have the system reading, the manual reading, and the pool store reading. Okay, and if they all of them said uh, that you know it's 3,500 or 3,300 parts per million, then that's good. But if one said 6,000, one said 3,000, and one said zero, I knew that there was a problem. Okay, so you can get an analog meter, you can get a di digital meter, those are very good as well. However, what I suggest you do is to get a bottle of saline water. Now, you can probably pick this up at your local pool store or if they don't have it, where I got my saline calibration solution is actually what it's called. I got mine from TMI Salt Pure. They're out of Washington State. And it just comes in a little 32 ounce bottle and that's already at 3,000 parts per million. So if, uh, if you do decide to take a manual reading with an analog meter or a digital meter, you can put it in the solution. It's already at 3,000 or 3,500, I believe. Um, and be sure that, that your manual reading is correct. 
uh, just don't simply rely on the system or pushing a button and saying, oh, that's what the salt is. You need to get another reading, um, you know, two and maybe even three different readings. Uh, so hopefully that helps you out. It gives you a little bit more information. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, check out the description box below. There's a link to my website, cleanpoolandspa.com. Lots of great information over there. So until next time, uh, look for more of my videos. Be safe and happy swimming. Bye.